YouTube, bless you. It's Brother Dennis. And I give God all the glory. So I was gonna make a basketing video. So I have my basket right here. Um, I'm getting ready to take my birds to the practice race today. Today is Saturday. Um, but I don't really don't have nobody to do a camera. Plus my um, loft is kind of small for two people to be in here or whatever, blah, blah, blah. So I figured I'd just show you some of my pigeons before I basket them. And of course they all ran out on the, I wasn't thinking about it. So they all ran out onto the, um, the porch here. But um, I do have this guy here. This guy here is a Tom Barnhart bird. He's gonna go in the basket, right? And then I have uh, got the phone up my hand, black eagle. So that was a black eagle that just knocked the phone out of my hand. And uh, this is a Texas bird, this blue bar right here. It's a Texas bird, Vern Clausen, like a Hoobin bred bird. I believe it's a cock. Cause he he dominates that top spot. Yeah, he stays up there. This is a baby bird. Anything with a double green band like that is is uh not on the race team. Racing chips are. So this one right here, the blue. Well, it's, hey, you know what? This might be a bad idea. There's James's bird. That dark check, I guess you would call it right here. I believe it's a cock. It's got a racing band on. That's James's bird. That bird doesn't have a life ring, so it can't um, officially race. But my team had my my um, club has this rule, meaning you can put like training birds in the basket. So he would be a training bird. And of course, he's got a chip on, so I can see where he rates up just against the other birds in my loft when he comes in and all that. That's him right there. That dark check. That's a family rock. Robinson family racing pigeon and uh he's gonna be a breeder but I still want to see what kind of quality he is you know that way if I know he's good quality and I match him up with a hen and the hen doesn't produce whatever you know I I want to build my law on performance so the birds have to perform even though it's a gift from James and the plan is to breed the bird I just want to see what quality it is because not all of them are not all pigeons no matter how well they're bred are good racers or good breeders and just because you're a good racer doesn't make you a good breeder a good breeder you could be a sucky racer and still be a good breeder so really am i i don't know what i'm trying to accomplish but i'm gonna uh i'm just gonna see i still i don't even know if i'm gonna put him in a basket or not i don't want to lose him but then again if i lose him is he worth having it's like you know it's a catch 22 you know what i mean the only tragic part is if like a hawk gets him. But like if he gets lost or if he doesn't return, then is he the quality that I'm looking for? I, you know, and I can say that about all of them. So that's why they're all going in the basket. There's a tough guy kid. Remember I said tough guy uh, throws out big, big birds. That's a tough guy bird right there. He's going to, that one's going to the basket. And believe it or not, the one right next to him, I think that's a dark check and the one next to them, I guess would be a pencil, I guess you would call it, but they're litter mates, they're um, nest mates. And they stick together, them two. Like I said, I don't know if they know they're nest mates. And I think they're both males. But them two right there, they're two beautiful looking birds. I, th I have high hopes for them, honestly. And I don't even know the bloodline off Tough Guy's bloodline. I just know that he's a um, big, strong bird. He's dominant type cock. And, um, there's my choir boy with the pink pink band on. That, that, that's my choir boy daughter. I think she's a hen, but I might hold her back. I like choir boy and that's the only one, that's the only actual egg that hatched off of him this whole year. And I think it's cause he was getting bullied and because they, were, they couldn't incubate their eggs right. My black eagle right here in the front, he's going in the box. That's a 500, Mr. 500 bird right there is getting pecked on which is ironic because mr 500 is a bully cop he bullies everybody and now his kids getting bullied but um that bird's going in the in the crate that's a racing bird and there's my uh other um baron clausen vibrator that that bird just always constantly shakes that's a hooven bred bird right here 
That bird's going in the crate. That dark gray back there, with the green on the neck. Well, I guess they all got green on the neck, but that dark gray right there, that's a Tom Barnhart bird. And right next to it, right there, that's a Tom Barnhart bird. These two are tough guy babies. Yeah. So those are going in the crate. Who we got? Who else we got? Yeah, so that's who we got. We got anybody left in here? There's the um Hoosier baby off my um this bloodline right here is the bloodline I got from Curtis. Really nice. I hope that's a hen. So if it's a hen, I'm gonna hold it back. I don't know. Got the little pied markings on the head a little bit. So that's a baby. This bird here is a baby. This is another tough guy baby, I believe. I'm trying to look at the band. Is it red or orange? It's red, so that's a tough guy baby. Big birds, them tough guy babies. And then this is a Tom Barnhart bird. So I got three Tom Barnhart birds, and this bird is on the racing team. So this bird's going in the basket. So I'm gonna basket these birds up and they're gonna go race today or tonight, tomorrow morning. Tom Barnhart bird right there, up close. It's like a slate, silver slate color. I love that color. I love it. Where's the five? I got some nice looking pigeons. It's a 500 baby right there. I mean, a, a tough guy baby right there, boom. And this is a, actually a baby of, uh, this is, she's not going in, but that's a 500 baby right there. That one is a 500 baby. And this is off the Indian hand. I actually, I actually took a bird from uh, a cock from, uh, I took a, one of the cocks that I had from Curtis at Air Champ Lost and bred it to a hen I got from Mike. The Curtis, the Curtis, Pigeons, I have bloodlines on. The other ones, I don't. Mike from Rocky Ridge, I have no bloodlines with none of his birds. So, because actually that's why I got him. He was getting rid of birds so he could have all pedigree birds. So none of these birds are like 2021s or twos. They're like 19. So they've been around. So they're quality birds that racers have kept around for a reason, and they became my breeders. So I kept them as breeders too. You know, good guy. If them guys keep them as breeders, then I, I'm just starting out. I, I'll start with them and see where they go. See what the quality is like. So we're gonna um, we're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. This we're gonna get this basket and going, and uh, we're gonna see where it go. See, I know James Bird. He was just out there cooing. I know he's a male. He's just out there uh, cooing. So. You gonna fly home tonight, tomorrow? We're gonna see, see how he does. So we're gonna get uh, we're gonna get all basketed up here, get ready to go. I don't know what type of videos I'll be doing. Um, like I said, I'm not really good at editing. I don't know how to really edit videos and all that, so I do more like vlogs. So just bear with me. It might just be me releasing a whole bunch of different videos, to, you know, I guess short videos. But we're gonna basket these birds up and get them ready to go. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Wish me luck. But um, what I like to say is to everyone out there, you know, keep the faith, walk in peace, and until we meet again, God bless you.